Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to enable all the LTE bands on any OnePlus phone. So let's get started. There are a few points to keep in mind. Let me show you. So first and foremost, the steps shown here will work across all the OnePlus phones. I have seen this working on the OnePlus 9 Pro, 11, 13 and even the OnePlus 15 as well. Then apart from that, it does not require root or an unlock phone. It will work on the non-rooted phone as well and it's a completely locked phone. So you don't need to unlock the phone or root the phone that's not required. Finally, it will work for both the global and the China ver versions that is on both the Oxygen OS and Color OS. So that's quite great to see. On that note, please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. You may also add your own region if required. So for that, please keep a tab on the region code form here. We'll use that in this video as well. For example, if you want to add the code, let's say of South Africa. So it's given over here. Copy the code form here and then we'll add that as well, which is optional, but I'll show you how to get this job done as well. So with that in mind, let's now get started. So first of all, let's boot the phone to Qualcomm Dag mode. For that, get the Android SDK pl platform tool for my article. Extract them onto your PC. And you will get the following files as you could see over here. One that is done. Now enable USB debugging on your phone. For debugging, go to settings menu. Just give me a second. Go to settings. Then about phone. Then go to version, type on version number seven times. Then go back, again go back, go to system and updates, dev options. From there enable USB debugging as you could see it's over here enabled. Now just verify the debugging as well. So type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools, hit the enter key. Now type in the command of ADB devices and verify you are having an ID. So you could see we are having this ID, that's all well and good. Okay, it's showing an offline, this will not work for us. Just give me a second, let me turn this off, turn this on once again, type on OK. Now it's fine, as you could see, device is shown here. So moving on with the next step, which is to first boot the phone to the FTM mode. So ADB reboot FTM, copy the command form here, paste the command in the CMD window, hit enter key. The phone will now reboot and you will now see a Chinese line on your phone as well in the screen. Single line of Chinese text. When that happens, you must then open the ADB shell command. You could now see this is the screen. Now first of open the ADB shell command. ADB shell. Hit enter. Well, that is strange. Just give me a second once again. And now you could see it's shown here. Okay, you have to wait for a few seconds. After I guess 10 to 15 seconds. Now the ADB shell command is working. So please wait for a few seconds and then use the command. Then finally use the this command. Very important command. Copy the command form here. It's the last one and paste it here. And with this, our task stands complete now. And now we are in the drive mode, but you also have to install the drivers as well. Otherwise, you will see something like this. Let me show you. The phones will now be shown as a random character. Well, not random, but my phone is shown as follows. My phone is OnePlus 11, but it's showing as Kalama. Kalama is the code name for the chipset. In my case, it's the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is the which is having the code name as Kalama. So this is shown here as well. And your phone might be shown two to three times, which is all normal, nothing to worry about. So please install the driver for all of these instances. In my case, for the sake of reference, I had installed it for one time. Let me show you what I mean. For when I was writing this article, I had to install drivers. I did it for one time, you could see over here. For the first time I've installed it, but there's one more remaining, I will have to install for this as well. So please install drivers for all the phones, which are shown here. So in my case, this is done while I was writing an article. So I installed one, now one is remaining. So I'll install for this as well. Now what needs to be done is first off get the files from this link, extract them onto a PC. When that is done, do a right click on the device manager over here, your phone name or the code name, then go to update drivers, browse my PC for drivers. Let me pick from a list of drivers on my PC, show all devices, click on next, then have disk, then go to browse and choose the driver folder. Inside that folder, you get this file qcmdm.inf, click on open. Okay, from here choose the Qualcomm Incorporated third one and over here it's very important. Choose this one 9018 Qualcomm which is USB Android tag 9018. Let me verify it once. Just give me a second. Yes, it's the same. Then click on next or you might double click as well or simply click on next, click on yes. It's now installed the drivers, click on close and you could now see my phones are not shown here, it's now in the port section. Both the phones are in the DAG and DAG mode you could see over here. So please install the driver for all the phones shown here. In my case, you could see initially, I had two phones shown here and both were having the Kalama keyword in the yellow mark as well. 
I solved the diagram for both of them, and now both my phones are under the port section. You could see. So once you have checked this requirement, your phone is now in the diag mode, and you could move ahead with the next step. So this is now complete. All the steps are shown in my article as well, but it's not complete for our case. Now I solve the QPC tool. So get the tool from this link, extract them onto a PC, and you will get the four five exe. One of them will be exe file. This is the tool. Extract them. You will get the following files. Just launch the exe files, which is over here. QPST exe. Click on yes. Will now install onto your PC. This will take only a few seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. Click on next. I accept terms and condition. Click on next once again. Location C program files. Okay, it's fine. No issues. Please choose the option of complete. Click on next install, and this will take just a few more seconds, and then we will get the job done. It's now complete. Click on finish. Now launch the tool of QPST from here. QPST. Click on open, and let's see if the phone is shown here or not. You could see it's shown here and enabled as well. So choose one of them. Let's say which one I had chosen last time. Let's choose that only. So let me show you in the screenshot as well. Com thirty one auto. It was the enabled phone was showing as zero. So let's choose that one only. This one. So always choose the one which is showing as the question mark next to the phone section. As you could see, choose that one and not the no phone one. So you could see this is the same. So let's choose this one. Click on start client EFS explorer. It's now open. So you will see the first one zero with the ESN having zero. Please choose that one only. Let me verify it once again. So go there, then choose the one which having a zero ESN. You could see, which in our case is this one zero ESN. Click on that. Okay. And now you have to wait for a few minutes. I guess around one to two minutes at the very max. So let's wait for that to complete. So guys, you could now see it's now loaded. So from the left hand side, scroll down and choose the folder of policy man. Click on the plus sign. Just double click here in the policy man. And on the right hand side, we need two files now. The first one is the global defined XML. Next is the policy dot XML. So choose both the files. First off, let's drag the file onto your PC. It's very important. So choose any folder of your choice. Let's say this one. And now first off, drag the the global defined XML file over here. And we should now have the file onto our PC. Likewise, also drag the file of policy XML. We will now make some tweaks in both of these files. Then place the file back onto the tool. So first off, please take a backup of both these files. Let me do so as well. Let's backup over here and let me take a backup and store it somewhere else. Save on my PC. Partition backup one plus eleven. Let's paste it here. So this will act as a backup in case something goes wrong. We could do a file restore as well. So once the backup is complete, we will now have to make some tweaks to both of these files. First, to open the first file, the global defined XML file by Notepad plus plus, and now scroll down over here and change the Current and the none keyword to hardware. L let me show you from the article as well. So change both the keywords, which is over here, to the hardware. Both the none and the current should be changed to hardware. So open the file Notepad plus plus and do so. So for example, first one is over here. Hardware. Okay, it's given. Choose it from here only. Copy the hit and paste it for all the others one as well. Paste, paste. So all the current and the none keywords should be changed to hardware. This is very important over here as well. Change the none to hardware. Just do a copy paste. This is very fast, and it's now complete. Now, if you want to add any region as well to the phone for the network band, so you may add the region in this section. Let me just verify it once. This is the line. Add your region code over here. Okay, just give me a second. Let's first verify it once as well. The command is the code is this one, this line code. Let's be verified once. So this is over here, my article. This is the line you could see global DS DA MCCS and it's global. So please add your region code over here and then save the changes. For example, I have said you earlier in case of let's say South Africa, the code is six double five. So just verified once from here. So copy the code for me and then add the code at the very last if required. Let's say over here, give a space six five five. It's options you want. You may add it or don't add your written code. One that is done. Your last action after you have made the changes over here as well to the hardware, and added the written code if required. Hit Control S. The file is now saved. Let me verify it once. Yes, it's now saved. One that is done. We will now have to add on the second file, which is the policy XML file. 
this one open the file in notepad plus plus as well and just remove one single line which is the line of this one let me just verify it once the global band restriction line let me open my article and let's see this is the line or not just give me a second the line is over here policy xml file and you could see it's the they are both are the, are the same lines let me show you once again policy man general generic band restriction so please remove this line execute for subs load for device refresh on sim this is the same line false so remove this line from the file then hit the control s to save the changes so we have now saved both the files one that is done transfer the file back to your phone open the qpsc tool over here so first the global defines xml transfer it here you'll get a prompt click on yes now wait for a few seconds i guess 30 40 seconds at the very max this is very important to do a replacing so please do that in case something goes wrong we already have a backup on our pc as i have shown you earlier these are the backup files so you could simply do a replacement if something goes wrong but there should not be anything wrong because i have tried it out on many oneplus phone and it works quite well without any issue whatsoever so let's see so it's now done and dusted we have the new file which is uh, the new file of global defines xml we have just now done the translation as you could see so once that is complete now comes the changes of for policy drag it over here click on yes once again it will now be transferred onto your qpsc tool which and onto your phone as well and this will take again a few seconds so let's just wait for that to complete and after that your task is now done the files are being written on the phone itself and it's now done we now have both the files onto our phone the new version of the files once that is done you want to close the tool it's no longer required and now just open cmd window type in the command of adb reboot and that is it let's verify it once again so now we have done the replacing and now it's complete so just open the cmd window type in adb reboot and hit enter the phone should now go to the os in a few seconds keep on waiting for four to five more seconds i'll show you that as well and now the phone will be inside the os and we have made all the changes all the lt bands are now enabled on our phone so it will work on all the log phones and it does not require any root work for oneplus 9 till oneplus 15 as well without any issue whatsoever i have not tried on oneplus 8 7 you may try it out and let me know then apart from that it works on both the global and the chinese region so ocean os and color os both will work without any issue whatsoever and guys that's just about it if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thank you for, for watching the video